Hello and welcome to your First Aid Friday. During this session we'll be demonstrating your drought check, which is your initial assessment. D stands for danger, so before you approach your patient, make sure you are safe. If not, stop and call for help. R stands for response, so this is checking whether your patient is conscious, unconscious or just having an afternoon nap. We start with a verbal check. Hello Brad, it's Marnie, can you hear me? Hello, can you open your eyes? Talking to both ears, just in case there's a hearing impairment. If there's no response, we then move on to our pain response. We tap the shoulders, we squeeze the earlobes, and we squeeze the back of the shoulders. And this muscle is called our trapezial muscle. If there's still no response, we then go on to our A check, which is our airway. When a patient is lying on the floor in an unconscious state, everything in their body becomes very relaxed. So the tongue is joined to the bottom jaw, and as the bottom jaw flops backwards, the tongue goes with it and blocks the airway. So we need to rectify this. But before that, we need to check in the mouth for any foreign objects. So we pull the chin down, which automatically opens the mouth, and have a good look inside. If you can see it, you can remove it safely. We then can open the airway. On an adult and a child, we use the head tilt chin lift, which means one hand on the forehead, fingers on the chin, and push the head back as far as physically possible. The further back you get it, the better the airway. You then move on to your B check, which is your breathing. You maintain the airway open at all times. You need to look, listen, and feel for 10 seconds. So we're looking for rise and fall, we're listening, and we're feeling for breaths on our cheek. After 10 seconds, if they are breathing, we then put them in recovery position, which we'll explore in the next session. If they're not breathing, we're then going to be getting help and starting CPR. Thank you for joining us.